In relation to Israel's military operations and attacks in Gaza from 7th October, we conclude that Israeli authorities are responsible for war crimes, crimes against humanity and violations of international humanitarian and human rights law, including extermination, intentionally directing attacks against civilians and civilian objects, murder or willful killing, using starvation as a method of war, forcible transfer, gender persecution targeting Palestinian men and boys, sexual and gender-based violence amounting to torture and cruel or inhuman treatment. Israel's total siege of the Gaza Strip has weaponized the provision of life-sustaining necessities for strategic and political gains, including through cutting off supplies of water, food, electricity, fuel, and other essential supplies, including humanitarian assistance. It constitutes collective punishment, disproportionately impacting pregnant women and persons with disabilities, and is causing grave harm to children, including starvation-related deaths. We found that the immense numbers of civilian casualties in Gaza and widespread destruction of civilian objects and infrastructure were the inevitable result of an intentional strategy to cause maximum damage, disregarding the legal obligations of distinction, proportionality, and adequate precautions. Israel also forcibly transferred almost the entire population into small enclosures that are unsafe and uninhabitable. The deliberate use of heavy weapons with large destructive capacity in densely populated areas constitutes an intentional and direct attack on the civilian.